Well, hello. Today I'd like to talk about Uranus. No, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> I mean the Uranus fountain pen from China. This is a pen that was uh, given to me, so I don't know its cost. I don't know much about it. I don't know where it came from other than I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. Could be Indian. I don't really know. But anyway, uh, I'll tell you more about... Actually, I'm going to tell you one anecdote about the pen before we get started because it's important and uh, very on topic. So I was actually given three of these. So um, I haven't been using my Lamy 2000 as my daily writer since the new year started, mainly because I'm almost uh, out of Aurora Black and I just didn't want to clean it out of the pen and then put something else in it. So I thought, oh, I'll use something else. So I started with one pen. That pen developed leaking problems. So I thought, hey, I've got these pens in my desk, three of them. So I pulled one out, inked it up with Aurora Black, and I'm walking around the room uh, marking some stuff on papers, and one of the kids said, hey, you're leaving a trail. I'd be, yep, I left a trail of black ink all over where I'd been walking. It was just dripping out of the nib, and it was lovely. <laughs> so uh, that was a bad experience. So uh, I threw that pen away. I grabbed this one out and inked it up, and it is not done that and now I want to show you how it's been writing and uh, one of its major 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 flaws <laughs> and uh, then we'll talk a little at the end all right so this is the Uranus pen uh, with the name plant every junior high boys favorite planet <laughs> uh, so we'll take a closer look at it we'll look at the branding here oh come on there we go so we, I can see Uranus, ha 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 ha. But not really any other branding on it. I think it's actually a very attractive pen. Plain, but beautiful. But okay, not beautiful, but very attractive. Um, and kind of rugged because I've dropped it a few times. <laughs> but we'll open it up here. One. Two. Three, almost, and a half, three and three quarters, four, oh, okay, almost five full turns to uncap that thing. That's my criticism of this pen. Almost five full turns to uncap this pen. That's absurd. Daily Writer, it is not. Now, once it's uncapped, it's very nice to write with. It feels good in the hand, very comfortable. As you will see, it lays down a nice line. But it is almost five full turns to uncap it. That is not good enough. Uh, the nib itself is a you know, plain steel nib. It's got some branding on it. Can't really read it, but, you know. Looks like a number five nib because it's a little on the small side. I gotta pull up my loop. I've been wondering, whoops, wondering what that branding is, and I just have not been able to see it. Oh, it's a D in a circle. Hmm. Alrighty. Uncat or yeah, undo this bit. It is a cartridge converter pen. This is just a standard slidey converter. I don't know much about this pen because it was given to me. Uh, so the first one I had had a metal shield in here. This one does not. I don't know what that means, but the first one also leaked all over my classroom floor while I was walking around with it and this one didn't. So, you know, take that for what it is. And normally I would uh, fill this up with Parker Quink washable blue, but you know, it's been in use, so I'm not going to do that. It's a Uranus pen, and the ink in it is Aurora Black. So today is a rare event where I'm actually writing, doing a first, well, I guess this isn't really a first impression because I've been writing with it for so long. Uh, I have filled it up several times. I should just let it go empty and start using my Lamy 2000, but... 
I'm so close to using up that Aurora Black, I don't want to like then have to clean out my Lamy 2000 and load it with something else. So, as you can see, it's not a flex pen, but it does leave a decent line. That feels... Yeah, that's sharper. I think it was just on the edge of what this camera could focus. So, uh, wetness and flow. I think you can tell this one's a little on the wet side. I find it comfortable. I would go so far as to say that this is one of those pens that does disappear in my hand. Yeah, pretty wet. Reverse writing. A ultra extra fine. Not bad, but maybe too fine to really be usable for writing. Maybe if you're an artist. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. One skip here, but I think it was my fault. So, on the whole, quite a nice writing experience. I, this pen definitely punches above its class. I don't know what it costs. Like I said, I didn't buy it, but I'm just going to assume if it was given to me, it can't be that expensive. <laughs> Um, it was given to me with a bunch of inexpensive pens, so. But, yeah, quite a nice writing experience. I, uh, this, this is, this is when it's empty. It's coming out of my desk drawer at school, and it's going to become part of my permanent collection. <laughs> I like it that well. Except for this deal. I don't like this. So I was surprised to discover that I had not reviewed this pen. I've never filmed a video on it. Uh, I have owned it for quite a number of years. I've had it since before the pandemic. I, I'm i sure at some point I must have inked it up. But apparently not. Uh, <laughs> so it's been sitting... Uh, Basically, I've got a few fountain pens in my desk drawers at school just to give away when a kid expresses an interest in fountain pens. Uh, they, a lot of them were given to me, and, uh, you know, I no longer do the give them away to everybody, just when somebody expresses an interest. So uh, that's what this has been sitting there for, and if it weren't for the fact that I needed a pen, uh, because I forget, because my, well, my dollar pen was all leaky, I, I would probably not have pulled this out, but I did. And I'm glad. The first one was awful because of that whole leaking thing. But this has been a great writing experience. I filled this three or four times since school started. I would go so far as to say it disappears in my hand. It is a good pen to write with. I don't like capping and uncapping it because that takes forever. But, you know, once, you know, you put in the time to uncap it, it's a very good writing experience. I... I'm extremely impressed with it. It punches way above its class. I think it's a very attractive pen. I like that minimalist, smooth blue plastic. I mean, designer pen it isn't, but it is a, a very attractive. I am thrilled to pieces with it. And, uh, you know, I, I've been writing with it the whole month, well, almost the whole month of mid January. We'll, uh, that dollar, that pen that I started the year with will talk about in pens and use this weekend but uh I, I i'm thrilled with it so uh yeah i i'm gonna have to look uh of course i don't need another one but i'm just kind of curious if they sell any other pens so i may have to do a little research on that but anyway as far as the pocket test i knew it would pass with flying colors because zoop 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 it's just perfect and it's been writing in my pocket so i like it no, the nice thing about so many uh, turns needed to uncap it is it can also ride in my pants pocket. When it was so bitterly cold at the start of the school year, I was wearing sweaters to school. And, uh, yeah, this rode my pants pocket and it was good. So, 
and it's going to be barely a cold again, so back to the sweaters. <laughs> I have not been wearing a tie since Christmas. But anyway, that is what I know about the Uranus pen. And the junior high boy inside me is amused by the name. So, there you go. So I want to thank you for watching. And, uh, you know what? Check out Uranus! <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.